no doubt about it, when you find yourself in the Hunter Valley in the springtime, you just don't want to leave. And this has definitely been true of the people who've made this place their home. I'm joining two people who grew up in the area, Usha Tinkler, winemaker at Pools Rock, and Christina Tullock, who's general manager of her family's winery. You guys are the, uh, the newcomers, I guess, to the uh, Hunter wine industry, but you're not really new at all, are you? You've been here for years. Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm the fourth generation of the Tullock family here in the Hunter Valley. So we've been here for 112 years and uh, hopefully for another 112. Oh, I'm sure you will be. And Usha, your family's been around for donkey's yeah. years as well. Yeah, I grew up here on a, a vineyard and uh, tried to do everything I could to get out of the industry, but uh, found myself <laughs> working in wineries and in vineyards. One of the trademarks of the Hunter and all the young people here is there's a real sense of camaraderie. Yeah, so yeah. I think it's lovely that there's still so many people who grew up here who have a passion for the valley and want to stay here and, and continue to see it grow and thrive. Today at the Rock Restaurant, we're being served some great seafood by Chef Andrew Clark. What do we got, boss? We've got some lovely Western Australian marron, which is a lovely freshwater crayfish. The marron looks excellent, and Christina and Usher have some tips on what wines will go with it. There are some basic principles when it comes to matching food and wine, but my first piece of advice is always don't get too carried away with it because <laughs> wine is, you know, it's a very interpretive thing, so what is best is what you like the most and which tastes good. But generally, Hunter Sam's, you know, they're a, a delicate style, so definitely seafood, keep it simple. It's a lovely, fresh character. Christina's brought Tullock's 2006 Julia Semion. It's a single vineyard wine, it's very typically Hunter, uh, but it's definitely a delicate style of wine, which we'd expect from a young Hunter Sam, you know, Certainly what we're getting from the Marin is a lovely match, but typically something, you know, really fresh and simple like freshly shucked oysters and is a great match. my very important wine guy question, um, who's Julia? Julia is my mum. Oh, All nice. of our limited release wines are named after a member of the family oh, and cool. she chose which one she wanted named after her. And if it ever gets any bad reviews, which it rarely does, but if it does, she takes it very personally <laughs> and I have to stop her ringing up the wine writer and having a go at them. The Semillon's citrusy with a tingly burst on the tongue. But if you prefer something deeper, with flavours of melon and fig and a creamy, buttery undertones, then maybe Usher's 2005 Pools Rock Chardonnay is for you. When we're making Chardonnay, we're trying to make the wine as complex as possible. Yep. So we're, we're trying to build into the wine some, some creaminess from yeast lees, and we've got some oak in there, a bit of uh, vanilla and French oak. Um, and then there's also that big, strong, sweet Chardonnay flavour that is kicking through the palate. So in this dish, we've got that. We've got the sweet seafood, but we've also got the creaminess and the complexity all going around here. So, so it's a pure, pure match of complexity. Cracker.